Alright, hello guys and welcome to yet another video of Skullgrim Plays Desktop Dungeons. Um, <clears throat> yesterday I made my first attempt at the second triple quest and I got surprisingly far. I got to the third quest or third dungeon and just had three bosses left. Got kind of lucky. Um, but also kind of unlucky. Um, <clears throat> um, I have a lot of thanking to do with um, Captain Thief. I did watch his uh, attempt um, like a month back or something. And I gave a couple of ideas as to what to expect to meet. And uh, yeah, just gonna go for it. Uh, I feel it's really annoying that I don't know how things work. Like, if I prep these, was that affect just the first dungeon or the second or third one? Because if it affects the second or third, then prepping the flame magnet is really bad. You know? I don't know. Anyhow, he, Captain Thief, uh, went for Mystera, and that's a good pick, you know, for the first dungeon. I can also see Yahora working, uh, because of her <coughs> ability to both boost my mana, and also her ability to uh, level you up and take away the corrosions without having to purchase the, the, um, the poison potion but the, the downside of prepping the aura is removing an inventory slot and that's just way too harsh it might be okay for the first dungeon but if it's um, something that counts on the second and third dungeon as well then it's just way too harsh a third law that I can see this thing work which is what I used yesterday Earth Mother. Um, one click and five by easy, and you have slowed every single enemy on the map. Um, combine that with Avatar's Codex and Fireballs, and you have one free Fireball cast. And you can also use uh, Clarence to boost your refill your mana. So that, that also works. Same thing, the map is filled with plants already and to prep her and get the double plant creation rate, yeah, it's it's asking for trouble. It's really hard. And it's luck based, and I don't want to be too luck based. Although I'm gonna go for conjunction. <laughs> so I could go for Mr. Ra, obviously, but that's gonna hurt her piety game by twenty five percent. So I'm hoping to find either one of these three without prepping them. So that's that. And they usually spawn right next to you ish if you prep them. But when you use conjunction, they're kind of random and scattered, I feel. Might just be my guessing, I think that's how it works. So, might be a really bad idea. Obviously, I want to find certain glyphs. That's the best reason to prep your horror, by the way. Um, you get a guaranteed white walk, which is something you need for all three dungeons. Or at least make it ten times easier with this particular Avatar School as Burner as type of strategy. <coughs> there it is. Glorious. Oh, it's so good. So god darn good. Yeah, the best thing would be to find a way on the ground and then find Mystera. <laughs> Without prepping Mystera. Would be I think that would be the best case scenario. all the possible scenarios as far as RNG goes 
So this is um, looking really good. Bindler. I haven't even thought about Binder for this engine. Probably not a good thing. Crushing walls. Nah, I'm gonna waste my mana. Other places and the resistances. Uh, it's not that cool, is it? Because I'm gonna be corroded. I don't think the enemy at the end deals magical damage actually. So it means that he's really proper rubbish. Torog. Yeah, so so far two of the four guards are not what I wanted. So the likelihood that some of the next gods pop up are gonna be helpful to me is increasing. -ish. Can I I can't cast two of it just yet. It's close and I can use heal but that's gonna make him heal and that's gonna make him survive because it's not that many burn stacks as of yet I need to have other enemies which has less HP and killing these guys with the burn rods that's I'm gonna sneeze now. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um. Oh, what was I saying? Um. <coughs> yeah, killing these guys uh, with the burner ass is gonna cost a lot of mana. So, if possible, I would like to increase my mana pretty soon, so I don't have to spend a ton of black space just to do. Kill these enemies because um, he doesn't have any damage, physical damage to be able to, to take care of these things. And obviously, the skull picker could help out with a lot of guards. You know, it's gonna be five more damage. That makes it deal you know, eight damage. Suddenly, I'm able to to kill things, but. <coughs> I'm gonna spend a lot of mana. Well, let me think. Let me think about this now. It all depends on what what. <laughs> yeah, my HP is gonna go out the window from casting this. And I'll kill them in two hits, though. Kind of tempted because I know there's gonna be a lot of items that increase my damage in this dungeon. Combine that with the skull picker, he's gonna be pretty, pretty much a beast. This guy, it's still human, it's still a human. Okay, let's just get on with it. I'm just gonna heal one. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, that's gonna not work. If I can just hit someone, I kill someone. I can't kill them anyway. Oh, I'll literally just hit someone to make the burn stack inflict damage. So I'm gonna put one layer of corrosion on me while I do this. And I don't wanna hit this guy because he is hard to slow again. There we go. I'm hoping to find all wisps and not this. The other item on drops. Because it's really good for the rogue at the very last dungeon. I might as well put up my prayer blade. <coughs> Come 
combine that with uh, physical resist, fighting physical enemies, and you're doing good. I'm not gonna be doing physical attacks at this particular dungeon. It's gonna be the next in the two other ones. It's gonna be mainly about casting this anyway. But That's the last altars. Okay, I am considering telling this guy or I pull it off because I have gotten some clothes now. now. I don't think I had initially. <laughs> I can hit the guy and it's gonna hurt me. It's going to drop my HP by 4. And how much damage does he do for me? Or do I have more than 4? No, I have 2. That's not enough. <laughs> well, if I restart this fight. I will be able to kill him because burst stacks. I'm gonna deal two more damage from the very start. Yeah. So, kind of wasteful, I know, but I just want to see this happen more than anything right now. There we go. And there we go. That's pretty cool. I don't know the amount of damage he'll deal to me. Uh, he'll do half his damage, which is 23. So that's something in lines of 11, 11, 12. I can take that. I can, but I'm going to be able to kill him anyway. <coughs> And the burn stacks are going to do half, uh, 25% less damage as well, so that's that. I don't want to fight physically. I don't want to punch these guys because they kill me, so especially when I have the peace combination, I don't want to fight the way that Thor wants me to fight. So, um, I don't see a lot of mages here. So there's that. Now this guy, not a free quest, not free. The fight party. Yeah, this is way too hard to 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 manage. I'm gonna use my mana for this. I can't afford running around crushing walls. I don't have time for it. Sorry, it's a log. Will this work? I'm thinking it will. Yay! Uh, let's move him out of the way. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, well, well, let's go. There we go. Initially, I thought this wasn't just going to work, but. Could essentially level up by killing this guy. How valuable is the popcorn? I don't know. I don't know. This guy has a lot more HP than this guy, but he's also one level higher and he doesn't have magic resist. <laughs> so, um, I want to start our fights and it might be a bit too soon but what the hell let's live a little all right we 
wish I had 12 instead of 11 and it doesn't really make a huge sort of difference. It's gonna die. He is gonna die. It deals 24 damage. But then again, <coughs> I see the problem by being poisoned and being pretty far away from level up actually. Well, I guess I can just boom, boom. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go right ahead and do that. So, killing these two is going to be enough to put off. I don't want to increase my damage for picking up these things because I like being uncorroded as far as that goes. I can kill this guy, and that would also be enough. If I slow him, I'm killing one hit, that's not gonna work. <laughs> not at all. How much is that gonna stack on him? Because I could essentially. Ah, oh, let's just put it. Let's go for this fight instead. Or this fight, you know. I'm poisoned, that's the problem, yeah. I'd already forgotten about that. Well, um. Try more anyway. With yeah, that's not that's not good. Oh, that's not good. This is the kind of thing that makes me want to use a potion. Whereas it's a really predictable, easy sort of fight. So sloppy play. Let's see, cost 6, right? Yeah, I'm not a wizard. 22, and it's not gonna work because of the resistances, right? Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Let's just do it like it's supposed to be done. I suppose. There we go. Okay, yeah, horror. Well, you know, when I already have this, and she's not as good anymore, especially if I don't find her really early because the pipe gain from exploring and everything, doing things, is gonna make her a uh, really hard guard to please and you should really want to please the horror oh, stagger yes i want that perfect that is splendid what it was and power stagger now if i only find a god I'd like to join, then I'd be a happy, happy sort of dude. I might be really forced to join her. Or he, I don't know what kind of gender it is. Don't want to do the boss, don't know what kind of damage she deals. Increase my mana sounds like the way to go. But it's me coming back with this. Oh, I, I sort of hate this guy. He's a little more like a dude, I suppose. This is really nice, though. Oh, I'm gonna look at this, am I? Am I not? I think I do think I am. Okay, already at 22. Pretty good. Closer to petition, which. 
That is marvelous. <coughs> Sorry about that. And it was 45, yeah, 20 to go. And she might reduce my HP to one mana burn, poison, all sorts of things. Okay, well, I've already did this. That's gonna be really good. But you know, addition, yeah. I'm probably not gonna be able to uh, afford addition, bonus mana, and chaos avatar. So I'm, I'm just gonna go for twelve and cast burner as twice, and that's gonna be enough. Right, right. And then chaos avatar during the fights was the boss. Maybe. Maybe that's the way to go. I'd be kind of upset if I find Mystera right here right now. Probably jinx it by saying that. Uh, the HP of these guys are not too much, and I have the bounce staggers that kind of like kill the goats. I wish I found it earlier, but this will do as well. Um, first strike would allow me to do this. I just want to heal, so it's not going to work. I can pick up that, so if I pick up one square, it's not going to be enough. Time will tell. Perfect. I can precast. Get in there, that's pretty cool. Because she is amused. Perfect, that was just what I was hoping for. Got poisoned. Weakened as well. When she decides to be a real bloody hag, she can be, you know? There's no end to her cruelty. She decides to go for that, so I'm gonna quickly do that, and I can breathe again. <laughs> Is there anything she dislikes? I can't really rem remember. Let's have a look. So yeah, hold that up, oh, oh wait. It's the mad god. Whenever something happens to draw you out of you'll be blown away. Alright, just random, completely random, everything. Why not? Alright. <coughs> this guy. We should have one more mana. First strike. Lovely. If I find another goat, I can do the same thing again. That was really efficient. Although I have uneven resources here, so I still need to heal a lot. Wish I had. Um... Never mind. Never mind. Level 4 is right there. He has a ton of HP, so I might actually go for level 5 or 6 instead because of. All the zombies go. Yeah. <sighs> Two level higher. Should be one level higher and probably have less HP. 92. Uh, yes, holy shit. Maybe this will amuse her. Just wanted to grab a hold of that. 
bring legs for her. I'm a monk and I'm exploring the full HP. Uh, it's it's bad. It's pretty bad. Oh well, that's how we're lucky. Same level enemy was this guy, and it's actually not that bad. It's gonna heal, yeah. That's probably not gonna be enough then. Yeah, exactly. That's having 12. Well, we would still have 2 HP left. I think. Something like that. I can't pick it up for that one and get the first strike in. Um, I was gonna increase. I'm gonna get more experience from him as well by doing that. There's quite a few of these around here, so I shouldn't hesitate to use them. Probably should use them in high level fights as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have the first strike already, so I guess I'll just do it then. Oh yeah, the Undead Tango Blood Pools. Nice, that makes me able to pick these things up. Without having to worry about that. Pretty cool. Pretty cast on that, because why not? And out of the way, 80, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get that, I think. Let's take away these. Yeah, midway fight, I think I'm gonna use that to take away these because I'm not gonna have all that many of those anyway, I think. Nice, nice, nice. The goal is stacking up. Shelves don't have that. This might be a good thing. Let's kind of rule out the opportunity in me worshipping Earth Mother and Golden Guardian for the future. So I'm just going to make my life as a Dracula fan easier. I could always convert it if I happen to stumble upon a good moment to worship Earth Mother or Golden Guardian, but. All right, all right, let's stop ranting, stop playing. Yeah, think, 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 think. Ooh, wish I had one single more mana. This will give me that. Because if I do this twice, I can do it twice easily and then. I use a strength potion. How much HP is quite a lot left left there? What is a possibility? This is just one level higher, so we're all gonna go for the ghost. And the thing I can do is I can pick up this and use it already. But I'm gonna lose all my health. I could I could use it with some health and then heal up, then start the fight. <laughs> you know, um, but why would I do that? If I'm focusing on using uh, as the first strike and not the might aspect of it, then I don't need to, to have health to survive. Yeah. That's just stupid. I'm just gonna waste black space up. Especially in this situation right here. Cast it twice would be possible if I had more. Uh, 
Oh, this is a easy fight, so I need to take out another wall for that one instead. There we go, and... Uh, there we go, yes. Okay. <coughs> Finally find it. Perfect. Okay. First strike is already used. Uh, well, I don't need a first strike. I need a damage with was well, was I was thinking about. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Three more, and then I need six more to cast it one more time. This is gonna put me half the way there. Using it twice, it's not a lot hard because it doesn't cast that much. But it's gonna sacrifice potions, which I may be able to carry over to the next level. So if I can do it without using that, I'm not big at eight. If I can't, then I can't, you know. You can't always win. Okay, increasing my damage is probably something I need to do to pull us last hit off. But like I said, I'm not gonna boost my damage significantly enough. But picking up this, and I don't want to pick up this just yet because of the corrosion that's gonna damage me when I do this as well. And the damage is not gonna be increased by these when I use this. Yeah, so that's the order of doing things. That's the order of things. And I should always remember that I can essentially push on quick piety desecrate. Well, this is going to take away my resistances, but if I'm desperate, I can do that. Try my work here. I just dodged. I thought I just dodged. That makes it really easy. Um, I'm not gonna use it already and hope to get nine more damage. Instead, I'm just gonna hit him and then use it to get first strike. Easy as that. The boost. Twenty-one experience right now, and now twenty-six. Very good. Eight corrosions now, but if I didn't have wood water on this, I would have a lot, a lot, a lot more. So that's still right. I'm on me. I have completely forgotten about the bounce dagger. Might be the time to start using that, put it into use again. Unless there's a really easy sort of final fight inside, like this. Yeah, grab the juice and do it again. I'm using the use here. I could carry it to the next levels as well, but nah, let's not do that. Let's just use it. There might be a ton of juice from these enemies as well. So there's that. Packmaker, that's great. That's pretty damn great. That means if I use all my piety, I am able to use. Hmm. Yeah, what does that mean actually? Yeah, I'm thinking the extra piety that I will be having. Oh. Getting gradually from Worship and Yahora. As I'm going to go into some sort of pack maker pact. And I don't know which one yet. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Never mind that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
I want to have the extra experience from the, the, the thing there. But I'm going to do this. So in case I might dodge. So if I dodge then... Okay, so... I can kill her without using the... Yeah, I didn't get first strike. She has first strike, so if I have just one HP, I will not be able to kill her at all. So I'm actually pretty glad I didn't do that mistake. 10 now. Not too bad. Running out of black space, that's pretty bad. When I don't have any proper damage outputs. At all. I don't really have enough popcorn either. Well, it might be fine because of the level up that I will be getting. I probably will be getting it. It's 20 more piety, but it's gonna go pretty alright, I think. I, f I find it pretty late, and that's kind of worrisome. on. A high level fight or a same level fight, but it's better. Have a look. Yeah, it's gonna go down in history, this. And the one that's going to be giving me off conversion points. So called conversion folder item. Now When to stop fights is the question. Probably as late as possible. Because uh, killing things makes him be corroded. And at the same time, you're a monk, you want to leave black space, utilize your double health regeneration rate. But, but, but. Also, you want to use Fireball to kill him because it just deals a lot more damage. Yeah, compare 48 to 26, and this is not counting the burn spikes I put on the enemy. It's a lot more effective, and I might, might just make this one sort of something I need to do. But we'll see. Well, well, well. Most definitely, see. Curse and curse. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah, I'm up at eighty four right now. <laughs> Okay, so I have two levels in sight, you know, um, kill popcorn, and then use, okay, the avatar. And eventually I will be able to afford this as well, I think. If I need to, you know, it's costing a mana potion. If I could pull off this dungeon without using a single potion, I would be ecstatic, that would be just great, but I'm not, not really <coughs> holding my breath for that. So, the thing is that I see right now is that when I click, when I click on, on the uh, Chaos Avatar, that removes the debuffs. I want to do that after having hit this guy quite a few times. 
and I'm not going to be hitting it all up in super many times right now. And I'm going to level up from the monster, I will hit him a few times again. And I'm going to pick up all this, I'm going to have a lot of corrosions. Maybe it's good enough. Yeah. Let's stack up on mana. Start casting and this one doesn't damage me at all, so I might as well just no. First one I click this, yeah, so I'm not gonna do all that now. Gonna do that after having spent all my resources. Yeah. Sounds like the right thing. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Is there anyone I can just kill super easy? Yeah, that's a thing to do because that's gonna put more corro corrosions on him. So why not do that right now? First strike, not funny. I don't have anything. And I need to be careful not to lose them. Um, I could potentially just go for the lose mana, but I would like to try without doing that. So without further oh no corrosion first, yeah. Kill things, yes, yes. Gather your thoughts, score them. Get a slight more damage roll make me able to kill at least this guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Is there any I can pick up without being corroded? Uh, doesn't seem to be a lot many. One more needed. Maybe I can handle one more corrosion. Yeah I can handle one more corrosion. <coughs> Suddenly he is poppable. But what? It's gonna curse me and that's gonna remove us and he does physical damage, so no. That was kind of a waste then. He's gonna corrode me as well to take away the curse. That damage me as well. Then we're gonna go right now. Might have started this fight too early. I don't know. Seemed effective at least. Okay. So let's see. I'm at 100 now. How is this working for the. Can you take away the curses? Probably not. Well. Yeah, I can't hit him anymore, so I might as well just get a corrosion and get another corrosion and uh, is there any more? So I don't need to use my precious fireballs on enemies. This guy, yeah, and I can't hit him because of all the bloody corrosions I have on me. Well played game, well played. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, right. I'm not able to hit, kill him in one hit. Okay, it's just time to pick up all. Right. Corrosion. Could essentially pick up the items I want as well, but I'm not entirely sure which items I want at all. It's not all that.
I think it is. That's potential item as well, but it's going to heal him 20, and uh, yeah, not too cool. That. But being corroded isn't cool either. I don't know if if um, being corroded, working on the uh, corrosion pools, could give me piety. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Okay, and hopefully this, this does actually take away all the corrosions, not just one level. Yes, they are completely out of the picture. And this isn't looking so hard anymore. Cool, cool. Now, <coughs> I did a really bad thing here. I didn't pick up us. We have boost in my health. I'll pick this up. I think I'm just going to still be 105 instead of 106. So, mm, could have been oh, made a difference. Maybe. Still not able to kill anyone here. When I'm at almost no health, then I'm going to use a uh, strength potion and then kill a guy, this guy in one hit, I think. This is really good. Uh, because it was restores 100% and both of my resources. The way uh, the um, burn that works, really good. But boosting mana, also really good. This makes all the future mana potions in this dungeon more effective as well. I wanted to preserve mana potions, but if it can't be done, it can't be done, you know? Okay, picking up this to see if it actually increases my HP. Yeah, it didn't increase my current HP, like the health boosters do, I think. So, it's kind of a lot of bummer. Because I would have picked up all of them and then level up. Okay, let's see, let's see. What am I purchasing? I could change God. I already have a ton of resist uh, physical resistances and I'm not gonna fight him physically. So this one, no. Same goes for this guy, physical fighting. Apart from the fact that I can purchase the armor and get 15% more, it won't pop. That will decrease his damage to me quite a lot. But once once this armor is in my inventory, it's not leaving. Ever. Oh wait, wait a second, wait a second. Yes. If I kill a boss and I convert the item and I get the punishment, I can just leave and then I get a new character which isn't punished. So the armor, yeah, it's 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 interesting. Because it makes him do less damage to me when I do, do use the uh, fireball as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Up to 50 and I'm gonna drop down to 25, which is making me have zero piety left. <laughs> well, that's a problem. Because every cast is gonna drop my piety by two. I can't come like this, and I can. I might be able to kill this guy in one hit. It's gonna boost my damage by 5% bonus damage. And I can pick up these and I can use that, this one at the end. <clears throat> I 
like, all right, all right. I don't need this. Yes, I do for the next coming dungeons. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, don't be a fool. Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Lovely. Yahora is a great god to be on for this particular dungeon. Just need to know why. I might pick up a wall and bring it for the next dungeons. Nah, probably not. Probably not gonna do that. Four left. All right. Thirteen left. Being kind of dumb. Because if I'm going to use consensus, then there's no reason to have party team. Apart from using less men changing the Torog. That sounds like a really good plan, actually. And then converting out to get in there. And then killing this guy in one hit. Oh, he has quite a lot of HP left. So it's a ton of spells I need to cast. So I need to change the Torog later. Not right now, but at the same time, I want the damage reduction right away. This is giving me a headache again. Trying to make this efficient, that's all. That's all. How about items actually? Pull the sigil and if I'm Pirate Blade. Yes, that item. That's gonna really hinder me from losing my damage and picking up the other items, which is making this guy one shot of all. And so one shot him by, by using the potion there. Well, I think the, the, the bottom line is that I will be using this one eye. Yeah, let's do it. And then just continue with this. Oh, it's the item. I don't want to upload it. Yeah, I got enough room for it. And um, probably want that as quick as possible. Yeah, I do. This is pretty good. Healing by attacking him. Nice. I'm liking it. Liking it a lot. These guys won't be able to retaliate, so the next time I will be healing on this guy, these guys. But I don't want the curse corrosion to stack up too high. I was gonna break the balance of things here. Now, by attacking his glow attack, I get two lifesteal. By using the fireball, I don't. So, this might have made it slightly more efficient to actually use my normal attack. And that again really makes me want to pick up these and join Torog. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And then the whole boost mana thing was really dumb. Really dumb. I wasted a mana potion. I could have completed this without using a human potion, I think. Let's try. Shall we? 
ciao. Not using a single bullet. Yes, yes, yes. I can also load the shield, but he deals 50 damage and 15% of 50 is probably more. I'm, I'm guessing it's better. So, that's some piety? Yeah, that makes me not able to pick up more of these. Hmm, unless I happen to drink this at some point. That's just gonna be one. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, and I'm not able to kill this guy one hit. That's gonna put more burn stacks on him and it's gonna give me more. <coughs> What's it called? Piety. Tell you what, oh. Yep, that's lovely. Health potions are really valuable with this high amount of physical resistance. Nothing to convert. 48 damage, not gonna take him one hit, even though he has 29 corrosion on him. So it's not time yet. But it's going to be. Perfect. Okay, so used I have potion and a mana potion. And completed this really easy, I would say. So now let's just pick up the pieces and head on over to the next one. I said I was gonna convert item because the punishment is not that carry on to the through to the next one. Yeah these guys are too tough for me so I won't be killing them to look underneath them. This guy however okay let's try and be efficient. I have a lot of space and a lot of items I do believe that the Wisp is more efficient on the charm because of the third sub dungeon, I mean, third dungeon, and being a rogue with a ton of these, it's pretty, it get, gets brutal. Yeah, could bring Torog's Blade with me, but I know that I'm just gonna be casting a ton of spells. So I don't really know how efficient that is. Could be the way to go. Maybe not, you know. I can't remember how efficient this is. The next dungeon, I can't. Um, it's a Gnome Zerker. Yes, that's what I'm pulling at. Gnome Zerker, and I'm going to be using these to slow enemies because they have mana burn and poison and curse and everything and it's just about slowing and hitting them twice with this to kill them and I'm using the bounce dagger so look for same level enemies and I'll be just fine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. still didn't answer my question now do you how valuable is this I can't remember what type of damage the enemy deals does that answer your question? Hmm, maybe. 
Oh, there's a lot of my health potions here. So, those stack. So, those are being picked up. And, 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 and. and. Two, three health potions as well. Those should also be picked up. Away it goes. And <clears throat> at least having one current choose will be real beneficial. And all of us extra damage is pretty darn good as well. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking go for it. This. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's, let's just do it. Reduce my damage and gave the enemies plenty of resistance. That doesn't matter because it's just in this dungeon. Should be at least. I want one of these as well as a ton of these. Potentially, these could be really good because of the extra HP. You start out with just, what is it, 10? So having three of these put you at 13, so we might be able to. Yeah, but I, I won't need it. I don't think I will need it. Quarter wall, nah. Actually, does this, uh, this guy stack? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. And I'll just quickly do this to increase my damage. Obviously I can I can um purchase another item if I want to bring that along with me, but I'm not entirely sure about that. It just feels... his punishment is just really heavy, and I don't want to be forced to do that. <coughs> Kill more enemies, have a look underneath, see if there's any more of the courage use. Not courage on guy. There is not any there. There's some courage use. There's some more. And I'm not gonna be able to survive anything more on this guy. Alright, so picking up the last item, which is this. And I can purchase a potion, but I'm safe with gold, I think. Yeah, I have enough stuff. Swag. Let's go. Essentially. Big guy is a massive problem. I could purchase it and just bring along with me a cool version in this next engine, but nah, just nah. Okay, that's the first one. Probably used like an hour. I'm sorry. It was a bit efficient though. I'll have to admit. Okay, so finding Miss Daryl is kind of key here, but. If not, then I could potentially make it work, but it's going to cost a lot more energy and time consuming, and it's going to burn off a lot more resources, I do believe. Wow. Wait, what, again? Yeah, that's that's a free conversion, right? Might hold off, see if I find Torog or Mystera or some other rewards. Converting things. Gloves of Midas, oh yes. Well, you know what? Don't have any room for it. That's really good finding Gloves of Midas at the first dungeon. Just keep it along with you, build the gold. 
Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's any shops in the third dungeon, actually. I think there are. Okay, well. I. I'm just gonna do this. Weapon damage. Straight from the bat. Pretty darn good. Alright, but well, I wanna kill the same level enemies, because why not? You know? Why not? I'm gonna level up on this, so I'd rather just kill him and then kill him afterwards. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. <laughs> sort of make the most out of the bonus experience from the bounce dagger. Because I, I can teleport him and I can get enough to cast it and I can attack him afterwards, right? Yeah, I can do that. I can even attack him twice in a row. It doesn't damage that doesn't damage me. <laughs> It does physical damage, and I have magic resist. Ah, because I life steal. Waha. All right. I haven't found any guards yet. The main curse is not an issue. There's no magicians in this floor at all still not a god in sight right right And actually able to kill things on a normal attack. That is really good when um, the glyphs cost this much. I'm really happy to have brought along all these things. And I get to overheal. Pleasant. Um, I have to remember that if I convert things, I will not get more damage. I tend to make that mistake. Uh, because I'm so used to playing human or work. I think my play style or characters or choice of classes. Race. Race is the word, sorry. I can't cast it twice, but I can just sort of go for it here. Yeah, let's just go for it. It's gonna level me up, and that's gonna be all fine and dandy. Lovely. I don't get the precast now. That's kind of a bummer because I need to explore. If I had to get in there, that would have been nice. But the setup I have here is pretty good. It's darn good, actually, to be quite honest. Uh huh. There it is. The man of the hour. Ah, oh, I can place him. Ah, oh, here. Mm -hmm. This damage is 24. Yeah, I can attack him afterwards. And that's kind of weakening me. And all sorts of things, actually. <coughs> Can't cost it twice because that's gonna cost 16 mana, isn't it? Yeah, 8 plus 8 equals 16. Unless I happen to stumble upon this terror, which um, I've been too lucky to, to also have that, I think. Like, he is the guy that I want to kill. But. Yeah, still not enough. I can kill him and level up. That's fine. I can't kill him as is and be poisoned, mana burn and everything. Oh, it just doesn't work. Alright, let's level one. I can just do this. 
if I lose I can use it use the manual resources here. Go right hand and kill. And I can attack him twice, but that's gonna that's gonna weaken me. So the thing I'm doing I'm doing first uh, burn around and then my attack. So I have just one weaken instead of two. Wish I had more room. I can precast this. I can make this really easy, but if I'm not level three, that will be great. But it's not looking too bright now, is it? All there is. If I have that one, I can boost my damage. But the vampire blade is just. So sort of lovely, isn't it? It's going to be 10 damage less every single hit, and if I attack the boss a ton of times, that's going to add up pretty nicely. If I jump Draco, he's going to reward me by piety. Um, I don't get good more things to do more damage because I'm gnome. Close and minus. I said no, thank you for those. How's this fight looking? Mm hmm. Yeah. I can always do this. Yeah, let's just do that. Not make it more complicated than that it is. More experience. First hit. Hmm. I lost my overheal, but that would have happened anyway when I leveled up, so it's, it's all cool. No need to be frustrated. Holy crap. Are you kidding? Oh. This is just magnificent. Oh, come to me, Mr. Okay, okay, okay. Cast a ton of spells, get Mr. Bomb. That is the that is the law right now. And I left Glyphs on the ground like a good boy, which makes if I can afford it, refreshments really good as well. Rubbing my hands in excitement right now. <coughs> I can't really do that because he's really too tanky now, isn't it? Ain't he? Alright, that's the other spider boot totem. I kind of want to get the Mr. Bot as soon as possible to preserve having to run around and heal up. I think that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not going to level up from this guy. <clears throat> but I want to, so I could use another current use right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, how far off am I? I'm not gonna have ten. I'm gonna need ten more, and that's just four. So I'm thinking not just yet. And it's a hard time to get piety from Mr. Because um, I'm a berserker, so everything costs a ton of mana to cast. Especially wait what? But they like, give more as well because they cost a lot. So I get to balance it itself out. Um, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. So if I get a first strike, I will be poisoned. I will be mana burned. So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drop my HP down to one, but. I will need to explore to find new enemies anyway, so I think that's gonna 
fix this. I'm not going to heal up by <coughs> attacking low level enemies. <coughs> Exactly like I thought. <coughs> I'm gonna quickly grab some water. I'll be right back just to clear my throat. Feels a bit better. So there's Dracul, which might just be the <coughs> perfect god to transition into after having gotten whatever I want from Mr. O. Because of the ball pools, might have been a bad thing to stack the ball pools on top of each other then. Might have been really dumb actually. If I have done that, I think I have. Mm. Yeah, so both pools are gonna be more pity, which is just gonna and lifesteal is gonna be good because I think the enemy the boss deals physical damage, so I'm not gonna care about my resistances anyway. And uh, yeah, it's really good if I can get there. Okay, uh, next target Roundhelm. Don't care about that. Uh, yeah, use spells, that's what I have to do. I can't overheal my mana, that would be super inefficient right now. Mm -hmm. Need to uncover <coughs> there so I can reach all the totems. That's good. That's good. It's that then. Let's do this actually. And it's level one. I feel wasteful right now, but it has to be done. Okay, I can do a high level fight by using the courage to use once again. 66 left and I did 35 plus the burn stacks plus the bonus damage. Not anything else I think. Is there something else to give me an edge here? Not really. Not without picking up the biceps, which means no. It just means no. That means level seven there, is not a question. I would like to see a level six. All I can see is a level 5. Well, that will have to do. And actually, I can pull that fight if I get this advance, I think. I'm thinking I do. Will I level up from killing this guy? I will if I use. Or the courage to use. But this guy is all. I don't know how much damage it means. Half his damage. Okay, so let's kill this guy without using the courage to use, and then let's use the courage to use for this guy while I'm still level 4. Right? Right. Heal up the mana. That's also going to give me enough piety to purchase Mr. Bonus for this fight. That is the reasoning out. I'm sticking with that. 
problem is this right here is the problem. Mana burn. Mana burn. Mm -hmm. I can always afford <coughs> missing points, and there's not a mage inside, so <laughs> pretty grand, isn't it? Um, there's probably a way to be punished by Mr. Rock, that is being mana burned. I think that's just minus one. It, maybe it depends on the amount of ma mana you have, that would be logical in a sense. So I'm gonna be careful about that because if she punishes me, this run might be over, even though it is, I'm not gonna say flawless, but pretty damn good run. Right, oh. I still want to kill this guy, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna chug a few more pull, uh, things at him. It's also gonna act as a piety gain strategy. Yeah, not too happy about that. Tell you what, if I do that, and if I then go to the Mystic Balance. Have a look at my glyphs. Most definitely want to do that. These guys are gonna be converted anyway. And now it costs six. I can cast it twice. This guy is just gonna be minced me right now. straight for the level 7. Toss all the power in the world. Let's face rock hearts, not crushing walls am I? Oops, you need to cover three walls. My bad, my bad. How possible is this? Yeah, I'm thinking it is possible. Because um, I survived. And yeah, it's just one minus one. Depends on the man I have, perhaps. I don't know. Perfect. Look at that. Getting um, 22 experience from that guy instead of seven. Pretty darn good. Almost levels, one more level. Okay, now I need to focus on the boss. How to boss him? Did I uncover him? I thought I did. All right. Um, he has a ton of HP. <coughs> it deals, I think it was seventy-five damage. <coughs> this is still pretty expensive, but it's. Cheaper than I was, so you know, there's that. Don't want to be mana burned and all sorts of nastiness. So I'm gonna have to. Yeah, because his first strike, I do believe. I tend to have that, don't they? <coughs> Yeah, I have the boss dagger. I need to think about that as well. Level fives, well, there it is. I could kill him. I could go straight for this. Use current juice once again. Because I still have three of them. I might want to keep a current juice for the last dungeon. Because I don't see. I don't see any of the sidestep. Without sidestep, how am I going to kill Blue T? He has 315 damage. Um, I can slow him and then chug a fireball and maybe, just maybe, survive one fireball to his face. 
if I happen to get good item and get a level 10 for item, then I can maybe survive a half of 350 lemon. I mean, if I can't take a single hit, then I can't attack him, then he won't die. And then this does grant me an extra strike on his face. I mean, Rogue already has the first strike, but the might of his grants might make me able to use it quicker, if that makes any sense. Also, there's other, other difficult bosses as well, don't get me wrong. Alright, alright, mobility is the main concern, I think, because you can sort of break the game, break up your progress completely, invalidate you. Okay, if I leave the popcorn around, I can actually overheal before the fight itself. Oh, that's pretty tempting. I can overheal myself fight him and then hit one more enemy level up once I have zero or like one HP left. Let's see. Mana cost, I mean, uh, burner has cost 6, so if I get 15, I can cast it 3 times. I would like to have a look at the boss to see if I will fight him physically or magically. I think magically, if I recall correctly. So, let's not rely on luck, shall we? And there we have him. Yes, a ton of HP. And pretty high damage, so this is going to reduce his damage in half, so that's good. That's just a really good thing to do. Wouldn't mind having the um, <coughs> armor right now. The armor would be 15% of 75. I'm thinking that's going to be more than 10. And I'm probably not even going to be level 10 when I fight him. But I can also use this for overhealing and things, so eh, not too shabby. Alright, alright, alright. Still talking about. Oh, I can use the coach use or not? Probably not. Probably go for this guy instead. At some point, at least. Uh, I can cast two of them, and I can do a lot of damage, so I'm gonna go for the uh, almost a lot of the carrot juice. Courage juice. I wonder if that's, that's on purpose, that name. Um, but is it enough? I think it's gonna be just enough. And if it doesn't work, I can just kill and level up, and, or heal up. Wow, this is going good. This is magnificent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I deal <coughs> 42 plus 10, which equals 52 damage. And if I use the reduce, then suddenly I'm able to kill him as well. Really glad I killed the, the thing and picked up a bunch of those from the previous dungeon. Okay. Okay, indeed. Mm hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now. The thing I need to know is what is most useful, the mana health potions or the courage use, what is the best? Well, this is for the first of my HP, and this basically means another hit without taking damage. So, in the case of this guy, that is the value of like 75 HP. Which right now is more than my entire health bar. I don't know. I don't know if I you can objectively measure it like that, but I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see here. I'm not gonna level up from killing him, but I'm gonna. Be close enough. Oh yeah. Um, I was talking about doing this. Well, I was also talking about doing Dracula. I mean, I need essentially need two more. And that's not too far off, you know. But let's let's take care. Healing by these is really good because I'm gonna use is the burner ass. And then I get heal these and I continue to chug the burner ass on his face. Yeah, that's that's nice and all. But and I'll also be grabbing the resistances from Dracula. That costs 40, but I will be able to get 40 after the crown bubbles. Eventually, alright. And he hates drinking enough health potions, doesn't he? So I might want to join him at the very end. Somehow. Don't know. Well, let's think about it later and uh, go for the <coughs> fight right here. Um, I can't kill him in here. Either one of these, so. Let's just chug two at his face, and that means not no weekend for me. Sidestep, perfect. Like the circle is complete. Um, wow. Wait, what? And sidestep. These are the semi-mandatory glyphs. For the last dungeon. That was the item I lacked the last run. It cost me the game, I do believe. Wasn't able to defeat that bloody goat. Mm -hmm. And I'm saving the courage use now for the last dungeon as well, which I didn't, don't think I did the previous one either. I have a lot more potion as well. Well, we'll see. I have to finish the boss first before I can actually say how it's going. I can already afford... I can already afford two of these. Well, that's gonna rule out Dracula. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this just deals a ton of damage to me. Oh yeah, level up enough so I can actually use kind of whoop ass and leave his potion on the face. I need to be able to tank a signal head to do that. And I want to do it now before I ruin the totems, right? Right. Is there a reason for me to slow us to avoid poison and I burn? I think not. I think I'm just going to do it at some point and then level up. Alright, is there a reason not to exploit everything? I don't have Apple sick. I'm not a monk. I think I should just explore and try and be as powerful as I can be and then start fights. Kill all the things I can. 
to get more blood pools. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. And obviously level up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make more popular because that's fun. And on enemy. And down here as well. And another one. Might be kind of wasteful. I'm feeling like this is going too well. Probably should chill. Might be too uh, courageous or whatever you want to call it. That's um, a good high level fight, actually. Yeah, it will be the last one, I believe. After that, I'll probably have enough HP to handle him. Cool, cool. Keep cool. Push him down in the corner so he can be ashamed of that. Okay, uh, um, it doesn't say <clears throat> first strike on these guys. Yeah, it does say it's just because it's slowed. So, I encourage you, it's probably not gonna work. But if I kill an enemy with the burner ads, then all's gonna work. You know? So, I'm just gonna reduce my. I'm just gonna reduce my HP. It's gonna be worth it because it's gonna give me 46 without using the color juice. So I pretty much want to do this. Yeah, not the thing is, he is gonna mana burn me the second time. Which is fine because I won't be having any mana left at that point. Right? Right, so if I use us, then that's gonna heal 40%, which equals something like six, five or six. And I, I wanna try this. Yeah, it's gonna have 48 by um, HP left. Forty-eight. Yeah, obviously I don't want to do it now. I would have been dumb. Uh -huh. I mean, how much does it deal? It deals 48 exactly, so it's enough to kill him. I mean, even more because of the bunch bags. So, this might be kind of wasteful, but. It's 5 and. I still want to use my courage use as well. Right, right, let's see, let's see. I'm poisoned, so I need to do poison the mana burns. I need to think now. <coughs> he heals 8 by one tile, so that's put him at, him at 56. An ideal 48 plus 12. So that's essentially 60 damage, so I'm gonna kill him. So use this, use this, plus, and 53 from 28. That's a pretty high lead. Wow. Okay, so I, I use the curse use for spiking um, in hopes of preserving resources other places for the next dungeon, which is. The last one. <sighs> kind. I'm glad I had one left. Though, yeah. I have might. What do I have might? Never mind. Oh yeah, the 
courage juice. What? I, and at first I got well, but I don't have the. Oh yeah, I didn't attack him physically. I attacked him with the burner ass. Lovely, lovely. That's even better. Okay, <clears throat> able to hit him now with normal attacks, which basically means I can engage in the fight. Alright, so let's have a look now. Refreshment is is equally no doubt about that, especially when I have four, uh, essentially three. No. Yeah, three glyphs. I will say that for the other dungeon. Probably sacrifice the vampire blade. <coughs> So, refreshment is good. That's nice and simple, as simple as I can put it. Okay. Let's kill these. I'm going to scratch some point as well. The glyph. Let me see another glyph to convert. I waste a lot of resources there. I'm sorry. Getting impatient. And if I make more popcorn, that's gonna make me level up. And that's most definitely interesting for me. <coughs> First strikers are the smartest enemies to slow for obvious reasons. Torog. Spread out the blood pools, yes indeed. Um oh, first trackers working out. Oh yeah, lovely overheal potentiability here. And I need to watch my MP actually. Because it's dropping dangerous hello. Okay, I'm, I'm using all my backspace, and that might be a stupid thing to do. But I'm just gonna straight up try and fight him, you know, with um, leveling up with the potions here and pure might, I guess. Yeah, I have 100 now, so it's time to think about what to do next. Yeah, the problem with Dracul is that he decreases my max HP, and that is a problem. That makes me not able to tank ahead like this. I feel 24 more, and I haven't even overhealed, and I'm gonna level up. <coughs> this is just these are his grand just no negative sides of this I mean I'm not gonna feel the lower maximum resistance and this is just a way to get get these but I am also able to oh this is tearing me apart guys if I join Dracula now with high piety, I can purchase a bunch of tight blood sites, which in turn gives me a lot of piety back and health. You know? I shouldn't have done that at full. Uh, uh, just, just, just start this thing. This madness. They are slowed all of the. Totems, yes, and I start with doing less and less. Yeah, very much so. Okay, uh, I'm gonna poison the curse me. But if it's gonna do that, I might as well just use the mana. 
So um, there's an available spot, and I'm going to do you. And suddenly, he lost a bunch of his HP, right? Cool, cool indeed. And while I'm mana burned and I'm poisoned, I might as well kill these guys. Look at his HP now. Boom. Boom. And there's the guys here. Boom. Doesn't have a lot of HP left, that guy. Poor guy. So at this point, I'm sort of tempted just to beast him out with um, leveling up and casting Burner Ass. You know, at the same time, yeah, well, here's what I do 50 50, that's what I'm going to go, go for. Refreshment, right, right, and then convert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, don't see any reason not to use world codes. So, uh, there's no undertow, so it's a perfect match for me. This gets to heal me as well. Okay, uh, I need to think about which. Yeah, I need to think about the things here. Yeah, I don't have any resources, so I'm just going to level up, I think. And high level, low levels. Whoever level, I don't know. Perfect. Yeah. And this is not doing that much damage, which I was hoping it would do. So, I have refreshments. Oh, snap. I forgot about that. Just 25% while not actively worshipping her. Yep, so I should have refreshed or converted the glyphs first before I left. Um, no matter, I'm, I'm feeling confident. Feeling like this is going to go over the top, easy. Easy mode, GG, you know. All that fine stuff. I uh, don't see any reason not to kill him, apart from hitting the um, upper overheal limit, which seems to be like this. So I might actually. Yeah, it's getting close to the limit, I think. 157, yep. Look at that, that's pretty darn beautiful. If you ask me. Alright, let's just continue healing up then. And yeah, I want to <coughs> refresh things, that's what I do. And it's gonna give me more potions, which I get to carry over to the next thing. I didn't pay attention to what I was converting. Let me see. Right, right. Shouldn't cover that one. That's the main point there. I already have that one there, so boom. Another one bites the dust. Running out of popcorn, actually. I'm going to increase my damage pretty soon from Draco so I can kill this. Maybe. So it's getting a lot of bite from kill and lifesteal, which is due to the not very blade. I could essentially, I don't know if this stacks, I think, I don't, I don't think it stacks the, the bite again. I think I could, I'm not so interested in doing this because it doesn't, I'm not fighting this guy by physical attacks, so, I mean, if I do this and this, then together they are pretty good, but that means using the pipe that could be use for this. For this, for this. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. 
look at the stack health. Oh, that's not even funny. Uh -huh. I still don't want to use potions. Really wish I had converted the glyph swallow worship and hurt, but <coughs> what do you know? I don't know if it could have worked. I mean, I got a lot of piety from life still killing things as well, so biceps, next level. Leety biceps? Nah, I'm just gonna go for this instead. Hopefully that's gonna work. Yeah. Don't have enough room for it anyway. Away it goes. And he weakened me, yeah, that's a problem. That makes it hard to kill this guy, right? Okay, I can level up here and just repeat the process, I suppose. I mean, yeah, 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 this is this is going pretty damn good. This. Not going to reduce my A MP because. No, wait, that's not, wait a second, wait a second. I know I'm, I'm winning this pretty easy, but I still want to make it most valuable for the next dungeon. That is ensuring that I don't have to spend any mana here. Let's just. Oh, that was sloppy. No matter. There we go. And, you know, I could use the courage to use and finish them off, but let's not do that. You know, let's just not do that. Instead, let's have fun. That's, I think it was four layers of it, so boom, not three. Alright. Look at my HP go. There, he's dead. Be really careful here not to petrify and kill myself. And again, I have a ton of piety. So, um, let's do this. Have a fun. Didn't have any physical resistance anyway. Yeah, I get to heal by attacking this way. Yeah, this guy don't hurt me at all. This guy does though. Let's just go back and heal this guy. Take him off. Why not? <clears throat> this guy heals me as well. Don't help me up. Alright. No items. And then picking up the mana potions. Could have <clears throat> gotten more piety here and purposely purchased um, an item from Toil and brought it with me to the next dungeon. Skull Picker would be the best pick, I I'd imagine. But then again, I need. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> I need to have this in my window. <coughs> Which is kind of a shame because this is a good item. Let's see, how much space do I need here? <coughs> yeah, 
all right. Um, there's a chance I could purchase something here, but let's not do that. <clears throat> I could pick up the gloves of Midas, but um, I don't have enough room. You know, if I want to have that, I need to take it away. It's it really is that simple. Oh, it's sentimental. Let's <coughs> go down here, and this is the last dungeon. Feeling very confident, and wow, that is lucky. The entrance down. There's just one square to the left of me here, which means I can. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is very good. <clears throat> right, right, right. Now, <clears throat> the improvement that I did over the Captain Thief's video. He didn't have any clue how this this third dungeon worked, I think. So that's that. But <clears throat> what he didn't think about was that he can leave some enemies around here. So when you repopulate or well, split bosses, you can munch on the popcorn and level up during that, those fights. And because <clears throat> the entrance down there is so close to the beginning, it's going to be really easy for me to gather enemies here to munch on. Um, so I'm going to try and preserve popcorn and kill high level enemies. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, and there's the third way. Wow. Oh my god. I think it might be more likely to drop on this set of dungeons because you're sort of you kind of need to use them actually, as you said. Or I maybe just got lucky. I don't know. Okay, so now the thing is <coughs> yes, I want to save popcorn, but I also want to progress. So, or is that? And how easy is it for me to kill high level enemies? No, not that guy at least. He is just a heap of trouble for me. And I need more HP. And now I wish I had more of these because 21 damage and half of that is 11. Still pretty. That's pretty pretty long gap. How about level two? There's not really really a reason to kill level two, is there? I mean, I get more experience from these guys because one, I get the bonus experience from Bounce Dagger, which is three. But I get four because they also they also slowed. So I get just you know an extra two experience from this guy. So, he doesn't seem to be... <coughs> mm -hmm. I need to sort of spread him out, I think. I'm, when, I, when I come up from the sun dungeon, and the black space has refilled, and there's been a couple of a ton of bosses either actually then I can't have narrow things like this because that might make it even hard for me I might I don't have any resistances and that's cool that makes me scream the curses but at the same time resistances pretty good <laughs> resistances are pretty damn good All right. <clears throat> okay. I 
good guards and I have first strike so I can just do this and then hit him again right probably where to go I would think so I mean I think Whitwat is better in the long run, but one a fight would have been cool here as well because of the bounce dagger. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Those guys are are tough. Those guys are really tough. I don't want to mess with those guys. Mm hmm. Poison that guy. Wow. And there it is. Okay, let's see. Um, I rather have what it work because I can slow the level ten bosses, the exact boss that I want to slow. I wouldn't mind, you know, um, <coughs> pardon. I wouldn't mind having both of these right now and preserve a lot of mana from getting specifically the level levels that I want. But I need this for the bosses, so and I need sidestep as well. Unless I happen to find sidestep on the ground, I'm not going to promote it. And I'm not going to promote that. And I'm not going to remove three items. So, it's on the ground. As of, as of now. Almost. I can hit him twice. Easily. Right? Right. And it's still going to level me up. Because I'm going to get 10 experience. Okay. <coughs> Should probably pre cast Sidestep as well, because why not? But right now, I'm interested in killing this guy. Yeah, it's starting to drop the value of the Balance Dagger, which is plus 3. It's not as efficient as it was previously. And I'm killing my popcorn. Uh, well, the, the, the most amount of enemies are the ones, and I kill just one of them, and there should be a lot more, I'd imagine. If this is like a, a regular dungeon layout, that is. Look at these potions. Alright, alright. <coughs> Sorry about that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, he doesn't. He weakens me, and I don't get weakened. Yeah, I won't be. I won't be getting weakened. First strike. And yeah, I'll do that. I don't see anyone that instantaneously want to spell cat. Yeah, okay, this guy. Alright. So I'm going to use all of this black space. I'm going to use all of it to teleport the um, enemies somewhere here close to this so I can reach them and level up whenever I please. And because the black space is going to refill, I might as well just use all of it to refill my mana and use it a ton of times. Oh, it's simple. Mm hmm. Yeah, no reason to fight that high level enemy. It doesn't yield any extra bonus experience than this does, or more. And uh, I'm gonna just rinse and repeat, I guess. Hopefully, it's not too boring to watch. I'm a wall. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that because that's gonna be stones, and stones are hard to break, and they end up in the way. And no, 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 there's gonna be a ton of illusions here. I don't want there to be emo, um, indestructible walls for me. I might not have any image wall either, so no, no, no. All right. Um, <coughs> this or I can summon this guy here 
and I'm probably going to want to summon that guy. Alright, cool. There's odd one. Lovely. Double two. I'm going to take away his death protection. I thought I did that, but he had two. Yeah, there we go. And then I summon him. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. All right, I'm going to use this now, because why not? Okay, the orb of illusory. Yep, yep. I will be picking up that at some point. <clears throat> After having leveled up and done the shenanigans, I'm going to get rid of the balance dagger, I think. Maybe not. There's going to be plus three bonus experience every level 10 boss I kill as well. There's going to be three, six, nine. 12, you know, it's stacking up. We'll, we'll see. See where it goes. I'm going to use this at some point as well. So that's two spaces, and there's just one more needed to get a whole big space. I need to pick up this item before I start killing the magic hackers. Yes. Level 4, anyone? Anyone? Now would be a good time to have this, obviously. Just gonna quickly have a look at killing a higher level enemy. Yeah, it's not as tempting as it could be. And I should use my mana, of course. Silly me. Place them there. Because why not? Or actually, there. There. That's I, I I don't know. Who uh, you? Halfling. So that's potions, isn't it? Yeah, health potions. So no rush to <coughs> kill the things. Probably want to kill all of the death protections here at some point to make them popcorn. And I don't have to care about the bubbles because um, there's no guardians or this realm or dungeon. Okay, a good way to get away the um, death protections is by using Thunder Eyes. So, slowing him is a good idea. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's one. I killed someone, that's two, but that's gonna eat away my popcorn, and I'm kinda just gonna keep them up. Dragon Soul, I can't afford it, man. Okay, well that's even more death protections out of the way. Okay, let's move him. I think I'm, I'm using a lot of resources here. It's just to move them there. And I need to be able to kill high level things to, to reach to high levels, I do believe. Bass Dagger is, is really helpful in the beginning, but it's its um, usefulness sort of drops exponentially as you level up. So I need to sort of. I think I need to kill high level enemies. I'm just going to prep this guy first and then go ahead and do that. Actually, he's a level 4, so I might actually kill him right now instead. That would be a good thing, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, um, <clears throat> my next level is 5. There's a level 5. So if I kill a level 4, uh, no. Nah. What's more valuable? Reserving this as popcorn? Or just leveling up now and starting right next on this guy? Because I'm starting to run out of black space, and that's not a cool thing. Battle measuring would have been really good. I can't afford it, man. not to convert these things because there's no authors, right? Right. Especially not that one because I already have this one. So that armor wall is bonus experience. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> well there's no rush. That could be my slogan, there's no rush. This is my turtle game, this. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this guy. And if I can hit someone without killing something, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I can do two animated armor armors at the same time. That's nifty. Double the efficiency. Gonna kill me. Oh, that's my death protection. There we go. And uh, just hit something again. I can let him heal once, but not twice. And I still can't hit that one, so. And sidestep. Using my sidestep. It's 10 mana worth. Well, let's do it. Okay. Kill him. And did I just dodge? I think I did. That is lovely. Spiffy. Mm hmm. Okay, so even if they end up clogging the way, like illusions end up like here or something, or here, uh, I can just mow them down because they are slow, nice all of damage. You know, it's all cool. It's all cool. Gotta be kind of careful about the high level ones though. This guy needs to be dealt with, I think. It's level 6 though, so it's not quite yet. I don't know why I teleport him there. It's not a stupid idea, that. Like a silly idea. And the funky thing about the slow enemy is that even if the black space appears, I still get to see the slow, I get to see where they are. You'll see what I mean. It's, it's pretty spectacular. There's a bunch of cursing enemies, but I don't have any resistances until I pick up a lot. So if I can choose which enemies to kill now, the cursing enemies, well, that will be the way to go. So this is about five. That's gonna be my target. Alright, so two attacks. Don't even need to use this, do I? Well, Depends. What do I want to save? The mana or what does he have? He doesn't have so much H HP, so it goes fast because he's a rogue. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Still gonna be two curses. Anyway, all right. 
don't have any resistance, I just don't care what the case is. Lovely. Don't know if I'm poisoning the enemies in the most efficient places or not. Time will show. <coughs> There's no edges, not getting to me now. Well, right, there's another one of the cursing enemies. But there's a ton of popcorn to take away the cursing, cursing curses anyway. How about more level fives? You are a level five, and so are you. Right, right. So reason to do this? Not really. Level five. I'm gonna go for this guy and then kill this guy afterwards. To sort of maximize level up and take away the mana burn, yeah. That's cool. That's Not so interesting. This I could do this. I think I'm gonna do this. This could be popcorn in the future. Like he has 21 HP more than I can deal. Might be able to get there. Probably not. Like two hits. Two hits is not popcorn. Ish. I want to level up by killing this guy. Not this guy. So, um, that's a lot. <laughs> yep, yep, let's just do this and then not lose any, oh, any mana, almost. Well then, wish I had Something. I think I'm gonna do this and then this. Sidestep and yeah, he can heal twice, and that's still gonna. Be enough to kill him. Uh, when can I start hitting this enemy? Uh, he weakens. I don't want to do that. One more is going to heal him up for HP, and that's going to put him up to 30, so I'm not going to kill him by the. Actually, he has a death protection. Eleven mana potions. I don't mind. Twelve, thirteen. All right. Mana potion and health potions means guaranteed usage of sidestep, and which means ability is going down. Now the problem is with the other bosses, then. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm still pretty confident until proven. Wrong or otherwise, or whatever. Cursing enemy. None of these enemies have first strike, so it's not like I'll... some of them are target more than others. Cursing enemy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was a target that I wanted to sort of deal with. It's a bit too hard. It's a bit too hard. 40. I can't even take off one death protection in a blow. If I had a battle matching, then I could probably have done it later on, but right now it's just you no. Know, I am able to purchase these. 
Uh, I probably should get something else than these. Not even Schadenfreude, but I don't need these. So, Strength Potion might be a thing. If I have max mana and I use that, that might make me able to first strike kill something. <laughs> like Bleedy, you know? Because that's not considered might. Consider something else. So, I'm interested. Yeah, call me. Interested. Take a bunch of popcorn. Bunch of uh, preserved experience. Waiting for me. I don't know how the illusions act instead of other enemies. If they were placed in, right next to them, or what's gonna happen here. I have no clue. One damage, yeah, that's enough. I can get what I want. Let's just do that one. Right? Right. No, yes, physical just is 50%, so I need to deal. I need to deal 102 to kill him. Oh, that's not cool. If I do this twice, then I kill him. Let's do that instead. Not killing high level enemies is starting to hurt pretty much. So, um, they have normal enemies, they don't have, they have all of them don't have debuffs. So, there's things to be done here. Animated armies are kind of, um, they require a lot of work and resources, but it's possible to kill them at um, fairly high levels of them. Just whittle down or off their death protections and their damage just keeps dropping. Now the problem I see is that if I start fighting the level 10 bosses that will be popular here as a low level rogue, I won't have any HP whatsoever. I won't be able to take a single bloody hit. And what is then the purpose of Leveling up Lewis, the fights. I won't be having the fights. I just have to kill everything. And, um, well, that is that, you know? I need to be high level on this. Like, seven or eight would be the best. Yeah, yeah. Mardi's wraps. I can actually afford that, but that's gonna block the. Strength potion from me, and I think that might be a better item actually. Maybe if I do it correctly, I could be all right. Level seven, yeah, it's the same type of enemy here. I'm gonna kill him. Sixes are on the sky and 54. I don't deal enough. I deal enough by the burn stacks though. But he deals much more damage than I'm able to withstand. Level 7 is gonna rub me up. But I have to remove, sacrifice the. Um... Right, right, let's just. Um... Oh, I dodged. Holy crap, how lucky. Been so lucky this entire time. It's not even funny. I'm up all night to get lucky. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the 
thing that I'm, I'm lacking in, in um, by my character is damage reduction. Damage reduction or resistances uh, would have been key. So if I had dragged along me, along with me, the um, armor uh, would have been just grand because he has quite the small health bar. <laughs> Or refills though, so we'll see, we'll see. But you know, as it's percentage based, they are not as effective as being a dwarf priest, you know. It's um, just how it is. Okay, now they deal 56, and that's lovely. So I want to take away. Or do I want to start a high level fight? Let's see. <clears throat> Should I be really afraid of weekend? Maybe. Maybe because of the first strike high damage build I'm going for, I might be really, really afraid of weekend. I might need to be. Curses. Yeah, that's pretty easy actually. Believe, and I want to take the weakens, weakening folds away from the map. Like biceps. Oh, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. One and a two. Let's see. <clears throat> Twenty-five percent is physical resist, but I have death protection, so. You know, and it's gonna kill him anyway. Because of the curses, I guess. Very good. Could probably have killed this guy at level six with some more work. That is. Okay, I have the curses again, and that doesn't matter now. Because I don't have any. Oh, there's a level seven. This is level 9, but I don't want weakened as I just said. So, no reason to pick up the modest trap just yet because the enemies aren't even here that I want to fight. So, the global code is just going to code myself. It's not like the code is going to help out with these guys any particularly much. No. Okay, 17, I do enough damage with that. And yeah, I can do it. Did I just dodge again? Holy crap. Alright. I should probably be using all my luck now. Hmm. Uh, 56 damage, and it's going to be 13. Burn effects on it. Do I want to do this? Who else will I be fighting at the same time? Really see anyone? I can take away the uh, his death protections, but probably gonna uh, lower his damage by first by doing this. And um, do I really want to do that? I think I do. I think I do. So there we go. <coughs> Lowered his damage and took away one of his as well as well as lowering the. HP. Right. Now the question is, do I want to use potions now? I I'm not sure. Okay, well, of course, do I will. Oh, I didn't use the burn stacks, holy smoly. By the way, by the way, um, I can sacrifice my popcorn for the greater good. For the greater good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The enemies don't necessarily have to be slow, you know, it's just an added bonus of having them more. Experience, but he's already in place. So I'm gonna be happy with him just 
the uh, level seven and still black spade left. Picking up all of these. This guy is just a beast. I think there's black spade down there as well. So that's not something I should uh, what's it called? Not count. Yeah, the curse is something I need to just get out of here. Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, let's just do that. <coughs> Not before, but actually now. Yes, indeed. That is dropping just how I like it. Obviously, I can use the black spade that will repopulate this place uh, for killing this guy, these guys as well to get uh, experience and level up. Uh, not just by the pot, but by, by these guys as well. But you know, it's what I've been saying the <clears throat> weakening is not tempting, it's not tempting at all. And um, I thought that would let me hit this guy. It doesn't. I have full HP. Six six damage. All right. Yeah. Oh, this one I used. Yeah. So I probably want to use oh, this and then hit an enemy and level up. Except no. And the reason I say no is that I could level up during the fights. I don't really have enough popcorn. I don't feel like I have enough. Well, I am going to get experience from the, the enemies as well. You know, I'm going to make it worth 10 experience. So, maybe it's just good enough, you know. Yeah, let's just think that it is good enough. Physical issues of these guys makes them also hard to kill. There's another reason not to, to bother with them. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. Because um, it is pretty important to be a high level as well because that makes you stronger. So it's not all about leveling up and getting results. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm sort of running away from my concept here, and that's kind of feeling like a little bit. Mm -hmm. I did this in the, the run I had yesterday, and it worked out marvelously having these guys around. But right now, it just doesn't seem as powerful, I don't know why. That's seven experience, that's. Pretty good. Tell you what, what more damage? Okay. Something like that. So. <clears throat> Picked up all the potions, and I have enough to purchase either the larger wraps, uh, which is gonna globally corrode myself when I level up, and uh, that's gonna make me have kind of like the same as having less HP and taking more damage, and I really don't like that. So I said strength potion and 
coming for it. Gonna keep it, keep this these apart. They look the same. Strength potion and courage use. Okay, I don't have any use for this. I don't have any room for anything else. Not gonna be doing this. Get in there and the biceps is kind of tempting. But there's just no room, so I already have first strikes, so it's not that good. Dodging I already have as well. Biceps oh that's the interesting thing though. That's the real interesting thing to go with. I'm really happy I had sidestep because low HP, high damage, sidestep, it's a match made in heaven, you know. <clears throat> but this can be precasted and make me really very powerful. I could leave it there. I could only do that and if I don't need the sidestep for something anymore. I can cover something and then it's got room and I can pick this up. Alright, the orb. <sighs> the orb. Tiger. 50% magic resist. I don't want to say no thank you for that. And now I see why I was having a hard time here. I didn't pick this up. I could have picked this up and I could have beaten the animated arm armors to, to pulse. <sighs> <All right. coughs> Bounce like it's gonna go. Sorry Captain Thief, but that's life. Alright. And Three more spaces. Mm, I'm not touching these. I'm not touching these. Oh, fucking hell. Is there a reason not to kill every. Yeah, there is. Because when I kill level 10, I'm gonna get closer to leveling up. And this is more like poppable. I guess. Something like that. Can I do this, I think. The Wisp Gem is less good than the Perseverance Barge because this is 5, it's 10, so if I. It's a Courage Youth, really worth it. It might just be. I think I have enough bonus damage anyway. I think one I could use a courage use already and then go down there and just have first strike and extra damage and everything. But I should have thought about earlier perhaps. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And pick it up. You know what? I will explore this first, I think. Because he starts doing this now. Yes. Actually, pretty harsh to look at. Have you any ideas? You could essentially teleport yourself by using a weapon here and start killing things. I mean, 
I could be able to introduce our strategy. Um, you know, like if you had an insane amount of damage, I could have worked like one shot and things. Yeah, but that's not what I'm going for. So, as you can see, it's been repopulated by bosses and. Enemies are slowed, and I can see which enemy are slowed. I know it's in this area anyway. Some of these are illusions which don't need to be killed, they can be smashed by smashing this, but then I lose my 50% magic resist. And part of mats, it's just. Kill the enemies. That's, that's the rule here. Just kill the enemies. All right. Let's look for a boss. There's a boss. There's a boss. There's bosses. You know. Uh, you could be really unlucky here and waste your black space by going to illusions, going long ways to illusions. Okay. Magic attacker. Fine. Very fine. Teleport him around. Heal up enough to cast the spell twice. Holy moly. I can't eat this. Alright, alright. Would like to be level 10 when I do this, but <coughs> I am not level 10, and uh, it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while until I reach that level, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I would like to find ability before starting to spam potions. It's kind of one of the rules or ideas that I have going. I can't dodge, obviously. But luck based, you know, I don't want to focus on luck. Didn't dodge. Boohoo. Okay, I need to pay attention to this being cursing. Cursing enemies, I might as well just take them out of the way so I don't make a mistake. Mm hmm. That's just gonna increase my. Again, my 30% bonus damage. Not quite enough. Yeah, well, it's a heavy. Okay, so <clears throat> I can cast this or I can use sidestep, and I prefer sidestep because 20% dodge chance. If I dodge, then it's going to be really, really valuable. I did. I did twice. And look where it got me. Lovely. But pretty great. Need to level up. I mean with all the black space, the refilling of refilling refilling of my my resources is not really a concern, is it? I can do mid fight, that's different between leveling up and using my space. Yeah, that's the difference. More gold, I can put some more things. Cut them up, smart wraps, and do something, something. Uh, not a boss, there's a boss. It's Bleaty. Finally, find you, you bastard. Oh, I'm gonna chop him down. But he's not a problem at all. If you have the right sort of things, which I do, which I most definitely do, I dodged him, and there's a dead bleaty. Oh, that was sort of anticlimactic, to be honest. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so another good reason to have the weight what is you get to move these out of the way. You don't have to. to Ruin your old illusory. You can just wait what them. They don't have any 
the magic resist, so it's a hundred percent chance of working. Lovely. Um, I'm going to export, I might as well just do this. Uh, next boss, nope. Nope. There we go. Okay, I know that there's a couple of um, uh, weakening sort of enemies here. I left it out. Or enemy armies, perhaps. I don't know. Something. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, so. <coughs> poisons me. Um, I don't want to be poisoned. So I'm going to level up and take away the poison in this fight. Yeah. And to make a fight as easy as possible, it's about doing this. Oh, what's another boss? He has a magic resist. So that's the thing. So, <coughs> might as well kill these, I think. Level up. Level up when I want to. There's no more popcorn, which is slowly I can see here. So if that's 36, that's 7, 38, 39, 40. Still five more to go. So that makes me question if I want to fight this guy now at all. Probably not. I don't want to go for this guy, right? 105 damage. One level is not going to make me have more than 105 HP. So, let's begin. Can't use sidestep after I take damage. Apart from just using all poisons, which isn't such a bad idea. Might be the sort of boss to use it on, actually. Because this doesn't deal nearly enough damage to be a legit strategy. Just wait what I'm not just a waste of resources at best. So I'm thinking Oh, this is resource intense. Oh, say so what? Why can't I use that? What? At least fifty percent. I have more fifty. Oh, do noob move. I <laughs> uh, didn't have enough mana. Okay. Um. <coughs> I was talking about using some strategy involving this. These. It's going to increase my experience as well. <laughs> Tell you what, mister. Hope I dodge. I didn't. And I need to have full mana to make the strength potion really effective. That's going to be plus 13 um, base damage, which is multiplied by 2 because I have 100% bonus. So I say 13, 26, 26 and more damage. It's still not enough. So I need to have just two hits then. Don't know if this is the right way to do it. Um, I don't know. But I don't really see any other way, so let's just go ahead and do it. This is a hard enemy because the other enemies I can re I can resource sort of fight them. I can region fight them, I mean. This guy I can't region fight because poisonous. So I might need to use some of these uh, potions for him as well. For that reason alone. And this not how I wanted it to be. 
I'm not going to use curry shoots yet to get a little bit more experience. I don't think I am. There we go. There we go. And oh, there we go. Okay, so I can fill up by exploring. I can look at the shops. I can fuck with the art ones, but it's behind things. Alright, alright, alright. Side step one. I'm going to pre-guess that. There we go. Okay, this is the. Yeah, this is a fairly easy fight. So I'm gonna use my mana potions for this guy and my health potions for this guy. Is that like how it goes? I haven't counted the bosses, that's kind of a problem. I don't know how. Uh, how much I can spend potions here, because I don't know how many are left. Anyhow, <coughs> this guy's next. I said, so I'm gonna keep my word and smack it in the mag. Kill him. Right? Right. Didn't dodge. Made me kind of sad. Didn't dodge that either. Okay. <laughs> Need to have a sidestep to be able to withstand his strikes because I'm not going to kill him in way. Even if I use both of these, I'm not going to be enough. Step perfect. I don't know how many bosses are left. I don't know, and I'm running out of potions. It's sad, but honest truth. I can purchase the Dragon Soul, and I should do that because I should have done that as soon as I saw it actually. Because it's not like I have a lack of gold here. And you know what? <clears throat> Strength potion. Yeah, I want to have a ton of these over here, so I'm gonna boom. Look at that, plus one and three. Nice. I'm not gonna use it on this guy anyway, so what I am gonna use on him is this. Oh yeah, and now I can purchase this by Yes. Hopefully I will get some this is kinda cool. I have presented chance on my spells, but also on my physical attacks through my dodging. Where actually I can dodge the self damage from the or retaliation from this as well, so it's kinda cool. Yeah, it's just Strike his face. Hmm. 105 divided by 2 equals 52 or 3. So I could do this and then this. Yes, I got that one. And then, oh. Yeah, let's just. I used the bonus base damage thingy now. Didn't intend to do that, but. <coughs> However, there's still a boss left. Presumably more. Okay. Really? Oh yes, oh yes, I want that. Yeah, I don't have enough space for it. Don't know how many bosses are left. I mean, if it's just one boss, then I just teleport him and then I convert this and pick up the battle measuring. But I don't know. I have no clue how many bosses are left. Let's 
I don't like any of this. Probably not. I think the land boss is a guy with both resistances, like 15 or 20. Something. Could that be could that be right? This guy is weak in me, so I don't even want to kill him for experience reasons. Could kill this guy. Nah, not gonna do it. Just not gonna do it. Marcus Raps, I do want this for the fight. To be more efficient, but there you have him. Lord Gob. Yeah. Twenty to both resistances. And he actually hurts quite a bit. Oh I didn't pay attention out. But I Damn it, that is, that is harsh, and I don't get to have the last strike. I mean, first strike, last strike. If he's the last guy, I might have just used the old usury, but if he's not, then the enemy might be a magical attacker. Like this guy. Yeah. I think I thought I was going like Velvet's going super great. This piece of cake, I have a ton of potions, oh, but look at this. Look at how hard it is. You can level up after this. No. No no. Just use a potion. Just use a potion. Damn it. Well, I can look at these guys to see if there's any more bosses, and if there aren't, then I can get rid of my Whitwap because I don't need to slow them anymore, do I? Well, I might actually need to do that because of how the mana burn works. Mana burn takes away all my mana. I need to slow him to stop him from doing that. Yeah, I want to hit him as few times as possible and still kill him because of how my number works. 10 more damage would equal maybe one less time I need to hit him. Maybe. This could be the finishing move. However, I need to be wary about his physical assists. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's even better. Lovely. Twice in a row. Dragon Soul. Pretty happy with that purchase, to say the least. And <coughs> I'm hurting him like. 61 61 mm. so I'm thinking this is gonna go my way it's my way or the highway yeah there's no No way of increasing my damage by one apart from biceps there, which is pretty good. Or using a courage use. So that's gonna drop my HP to one, which is not a problem because I have a lot of blood space. That's gonna give me more experience, which might make me depending on if there's any boss here, I'm gonna do it. Hopefully I won't re regret doing that. Have a look. Okay, just one boss left. And I have resources and I have RNG, so I can, if it, if it, if it fails, I can refill and try again. Yeah, I can, I can do it. Now I know for a fact that there's no enemy 
left the magic damage. So illusions. Fuck off. Right, right. Well, it's easier on the eyes as well. Pick up this, precast it, because why not? And I'm not tanking anything, so I did want to have this, didn't I? So I either need to slow him in reverse, or I need to use sidestep to tank his hits. Right, right. And the item here was the Mark Disrupts, which aren't really that good right now. <coughs> so here, there's nothing. Yep, no basket, no nothing. Battle of Mage Arena. 10 more damage. What is the most efficient way? I need to figure out what is the most efficient way and focus on that alone. Sidestepping or burn arousing. Okay, I, I get health potions from converting things, so that's not good because, um, well, yes, it is. I can't tank his heads, but I need to refill my health up to be able to cast Burn Raz because Retaliate or have enough to cast Sidestep. So if I manage to I think I might have this as well, I can't start killing this guy. I don't I don't want I won't level up either. I'm not level ten anyway, so Okay. Well, the thing I thought, uh, thinking about is converting the Burner Ass and the Avalanche Codex and just going straight for sidestep and biceps. You know? Because I have dodging. And if I get the cast sidestep for free, you know, that's gonna be like Christmas Eve. Same time, it's, yeah. Biceps is gonna eat away of his resistances, so I'm gonna progress every time that I hit him with biceps. So I could hit him and refill, hit him and refill, and then at the end do the proper attempt as a way, um, something. <laughs> Not not sure at all. I tried, I dodged, I dodged again, I dodged again. Holy shit, and he's dead. Wow. I think I would have won even if I didn't get that many dodges in a row, but still that is that's something else that. Because I'm a douchebag, I'm gonna kill this guy as well. Dodged. Wow, this is, um, I'm more excited, really. I, I, I. I can hardly speak. That was that was kind of awesome. Awesome finish. And there we go. Um, that's the second. I, I don't know how these work. Like, if I exit now, will I get more gold? Compared to if I sell them, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna exit by by this goblin bone because that's the glimmering last enemy. Um, 
Yeah, this is a lie. I prepped things. Um, but yeah, six to seven minutes. Um, if, I, if anyone has watched all of this video, then um, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been really slow and I've been coughing and sneezing and all sorts of things. But it's still a win of the second Triple Quest documented on video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Bye.